Hello and welcome to another mix-up video and in this mix-up video I have Vadovska introduced in 2015. This is triple distilled vodka platinum but it's not any vodka it's a sugarcane vodka from Mexico made with sugarcane not corn or wheat or potatoes. It's 10 times filtered charcoal filtered. It is produced from premium sugarcane and is selected and imported by Dubai Island International. All right, so it's an odd product. I found it for $7.99, this huge bottle, $7.99, $7.99 at International Market of Metairie, Louisiana. Last time I checked, they still had some bottles left on the shelf. You may want to try it. All right. Now it's sugar cane, so it comes across in many ways like a, um, well, you know, a, a clear silver rum. Put this lamp on, might give it a little, a little more light. Um, a white rum, as we call it. <sighs> Smells like sugar cane. The sweetness and the sugarcane stalks, the grassiness. I think that was the complaint with some of the reviewers when I was reading the reviews on Total Wine. You had two types. You had either people that hated it, like say it was a zero out of 100. Horrible stuff. But then the, the way they described it, I was like, oh, they don't like the sugarcane stalk, that grassiness. And then the other side, which was probably 80% of the scores, were saying, man, this stuff's pretty good. I like it, and so forth. Okay, Calypso Tasted Ireland's Ireland Wave Lemonade. Shake well, I will. This was introduced three years later in 2018. This is produced in uh, Michigan, Milwaukee. I'm sorry, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I was thinking of uh, an, another. Uh, I was thinking of a soda pop. All right, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sorry about that. This is certified kosher. It's 240 calories for this bottle. They use filter water, sugar, and lemon juice lemon fruit pulp and vegetable juice as a color and has natural flavors. All right. And many different flavors. They say lemon, orange, banana, passion fruit. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, passion fruit, mango, pineapple. <laughs> How can you put all these flavors together? All right. Now, I guess they must be using beet beet juice to make it come out purple. Vegetable juice. A beet is vegetable. Okay, makes sense. Never before had it. There's like a hundred video reviews on YouTube, so it's going to take me weeks to watch them all. Nice pop. They had a super sale at Walmart for these. $1.68 per bottle. That's since going up, but I bought all the ones before it went up. Still, I, I haven't found the original, the, just the uh, Calypso Lemonade. Can't find that one. Um... Now there's also a Calypso rum, silver and gold, and overproof and spice, but that's from the Sazerac company, and these they're not related. Calypso lemonade and the rum. Okay, uh, oh, I've got a great date. Well, it's very uh, like citrus uh, acidity in the nose. Yeah. I think pineapple and lemon, pineapple, lemon, and orange take the lead. Pineapple, lemon, and orange. Now let's go to the sugarcane uh, vodka. You know, obviously sugar takes the lead here. Uh, Louisiana, we have a lot of sugarcane here. And um, if I go up the river road, the Great River Road National Scenic Highway, about 18 miles, there is a sugar refinery in um there was a recent article in the newspaper about how they're going to plan to use bagasse as a biofuel. And bagasse is the sugarcane stalks after the juice is all squeezed out, and they're very tough. You know, it's very uh, a tough fiber, and um, they already make siding for houses with that stuff. They 
grind it up, you know, pulverize it. Then they make a particle board. How it's very resilient. And uh, but now they're talking about using it for biofuel. So sugarcane, they don't use, they don't waste any part of it. All right, how does it mix up? Let's see. Right now. It's nice. Now, my only complaint with the Calypso is you get a little tap water. Uh, I guess they can't get around that. I guess Michigan tap. Sorry, can't, can't get past that. Wisconsin tap water is good. I would assume so. Um, Michigan, well, uh -huh. Flint, Michigan, I don't know. Mm. But the flavors themselves, the natural, it's all natural flavors. The mango the pineapple, the lemon, the orange, the passion fruit. They're very good. They do a good blend. They, I'd like to take a tour of that facility in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because um, it seems like they must have a pretty complex process for producing it, but I don't know if they give tours. I went to a brewery one time in Alabama. I said, do you give tours? He said, no. I said, oh. I was, I'm sorry to hear that. He said, well, I'll give you a tour anyway. So, sometimes that happens, all right. Well, oh, this is dynamite. This might be the best one I've had so far from uh, Calypso. The Island Wave Lemonade. Yeah, this is a 96 out of 109. Amazing, right? Because some of those only scored in the B. Good. Not in the 90s. Excellent. So 96 out of 100, a most excellent product. I'm so glad I bought it. How does it pair with the uh, Vodovska? Very nice. Now, Vodovska, not a Spanish sounding name, but you know how these vodka brands are. They try to make them sound Russian. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, $7.99 for a handle. 1,750 milliliters, that's exceptionally low, maybe suspiciously low, but you know what, it tastes pretty good, and it tastes, actually it tastes good, uh, I like the label, it's got two shades of blue, two, sh two shades of red, it's got brown, silver, it looks nice, I don't know what it means, but it looks nice, um, brown cap, they probably make glass liters in 750s, I just haven't seen those, I got the plastic. Maybe it's all plastic. I don't know. <sighs> what do I know for sugar game vodka? But uh, <clears throat> it's a B. I'd go with uh, 85 out of 100. 8.5 out of 10. A B. Good product. Uh, don't let the reviews fool, fool you. How does it do in a mix up? I'd say it falls around about a 91. A 91. 9.1 out of 10. An excellent mix up can't go wrong so um, oh I got about 25 percent left here that'll last it might last a year really at this rate so anyway a winner all around so laissez les bon temps relay and I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Mexico and take a sugarcane vodka distillery tour <laughs>